What's up guys, Will H, and today we're going to be taking a look at Samsung DeX using it on an external monitor right here. So we're going to show you my setup here right quick. I got my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. I do have a dongle here. Now this is just a simple little dongle here. I have it plugged into the Z Fold 7. I do have a power supply coming in, PD power. That was the only way I could get the Alienware 27-inch gaming monitor to power up. I do have two of the USB slots filled with my mouse and keyboard. I do have a micro SD card slot and a full size slot. I also have a type C and a USB that are open. And then I have my monitor plugged in with an HDMI cable. Now Dex is already running over here and I can still use the Z Fold 7 independently. So I can do whatever I want over here on this. And then I'm going to show you guys what Dex will do on the big monitor here. Now, I'm not sure if you can run two uh, monitors off of this. I guess if I had a different hub, I could. But uh, I got my mouse plugged in there and keyboard. And I do have my speakers hooked up Bluetooth-wise to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. So let's check out Dex right quick. I'm going to get my camera mounted and let you guys see what this looks like. All right, guys, so I have my camera mounted on a tripod here. First off, we're going to start off in settings, and I want to go to Samsung DeX and uh, look at some of the settings that they have in there. So you got connected devices, mouse and trackpad, and play sound on connected device. So we're going to go into connected displays first. And you can extend your display like I have it going to my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Or you can mirror, you can change the wallpaper on Dex right here. You can go from your gallery or featured, uh, dim wallpaper when dark mode is on. You got uh, your font size, you can change your font size as well. Uh, strain zoom, display resolution, display rotation, and timeout. So that's what you got in that part of Dex. And then you can go to your mouse and trackpad. Uh, show touchpad when Dex is running. Touchpad strolling direction. You can change that up and down. You know, you can change that. And then what I had to come and do here, uh, you got your, when you're using a device as a trackpad. Now, you can use your phone as a trackpad. You don't have to use uh, external uh, mouse and keyboard. You can use your phone as a trackpad as well. And then you got your touch gestures right there. And then I came in and changed the color of the mouse. The mouse was black and I, I having a hard time seeing it was small. So I made this, the pointer, I should say, bigger. And you can control how fast it is as well. Uh, enhanced pointer position, uh, precision. Uh, you can change the color of it. And like I said, it was about this big when I first got it, and it was black like this. So I was having a hard time seeing this uh, pointer. So I made it white, and I made it a little bit bigger. Now, one cool thing with this, I can go over to my Z Fold 7 back and forth with the mouse pointer, and I can control stuff on that as well. So that is very cool. It's set up like a secondary uh, display, so uh, no issues doing that. So... Uh, let's go back out. And as far as your your buttons on your mouse, uh, you can assign different things. Your secondary button, your middle button, and additional buttons. You can uh, you know you can set whatever you want those to do, uh, such as opening context menu. You know you got your whole list of stuff here that you can assign to your mouse and connect your mouse pointer as well. So. I wanted to show that. So this is your, your stream for Dex. I can go in, I can change the wallpaper here if I want to. Just some of the same stuff that we mentioned. I'm gonna leave it on this wallpaper here. And you can go back into the settings right here uh, as well. You can see some of these different settings here, cover stream mirroring, widget labels, app labels. Uh, some of this is grayed out, but you guys can see. So it's a lot of different customizations that you can do it within the decks. So over here to the right, I can go into the calendar. I can add events and things like that. 
I can full size this as well if I really want to see it. Uh, next over, you're going to have your quick toggles here. You got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, mobile, you know, all of this here. You control uh, control your Bluetooth, your ringtone, sounds, everything right here. You can do that right there. Next, this is going to be your messaging section, and you can respond to your different messages right here. Next, you got your volume. And that's going to be control all the other, you know, volumes, like I said earlier. And then you can screen shot. So we're going to screen shot. I'm going to go ahead and open up the screen shot. You can mock this up. You can share it. You can do whatever you want to do with normally do with a screen shot. You can do it on here as well. Uh, next, we're going to have our dock down here. So I'm going to open up the camera. And as you guys see, I'm using the S25 Ultra to shoot this. And this is your camera right here. So I could flip that camera around if I wanted to or whatever. These are some of the apps that are down in the dock. You got your browser. Let's go into the browser right quick. We'll talk about that, cover that right quick. So with a window, you can snap it to one side. You can full screen it. Uh, you can minimalize it just like this. You can have multiple windows open. So if I wanted to add another drag one of these out I can drag it over here that's YouTube uh, I can snap this one to this side I can snap this one to this side so now I got two windows open here I'm gonna go to Best Buy over here get out of that and these are in uh, these are in full desktop mode as well so you're gonna get desktop mode here as well so if I wanted to go to Let's go to my video here. So, of course, it's going to be an ad first, but here it is. We're going to skip this ad. So, this is my video. Now, I do have Bluetooth speakers hooked up. And I can be watching that movie there, uh, watching my video. And I can be strolling over here on... Uh, Best Buy. Now, if I wanted to go to Amazon, go right over here to Amazon. Now, I want to make this full screen. I can full screen it. Or I can resize this. Now, if I want to drop Amazon in there, I can drop Amazon in there as well. So, this is very versatile, as you guys see. You can multitask like crazy on this. I can drop that in right there. Still got my video going over there. This is dope. Most people could use this as their, you know, only computer that they need. If you don't need specific apps that are designed just for, you know, for your work, whatever you need for work. But uh, for me, this could work excellently. So that is the browser. You guys see I can multitask right there. Uh, I, got, I got my messaging right there and phone. I can make a phone call from this as well. So next, this is going to be all of your apps that you have on here. It shows vertically, as you guys see right here, a whole bunch of apps here that, you know, whatever you have on your phone, that's what you're going to ha have on here. And then you can search. Uh, the keyboard comes up on the phone, but I do have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up here. So I see YouTube is already there. Let's see what I want to search for. Uh, let's help, help. Let's go into the help. So if I wanted to pull up the help app, on my phone, there it is right there. So you can search for things. You got a back button over here, home button. And then this is a, a button here. If I had a bunch of apps open, I could quickly get in in there and see what and jump back into the app. So so let's open up the Play Store. Let's open up files. So if I go over here, you guys see both of those open. So if I had a bunch of them open, uh, you can go back and jump in like that. So speaking of files, so if I wanted to go into my files here, I can go in, I can open up different things like Canva. Now I want to go, I want to get out of this and I want to go back. I can edit my thumbnails on here as well. So I don't have great thumbnails, but this is one that I was working on for a video I did. I can continue to work on this while grabbing things from my files and dropping over here on this if I need to. So 
You can get, be productive like that. And like I said, you can have multiple windows open. I'm not sure you can, how many you can have open at one time, but you can resize these and you can work crosswise like that. And I think that is dope as well. So that's the files app. Uh, you got your gallery. Uh, so this is that's just been out for a while. They kind of refined it and fine-tuned it from the last time I used it a lot. I didn't use it too much with my Samsung Galaxy uh, S25 Ultra. Uh, if I if I needed to, if I wanted to get rid of my Mac Mini for me, a lot of things that I do I can do right here on with my phone as one device. You know, use it as my phone and a little tablet on and during the daytime, or at certain times I just bring it in and use it as my my desktop. So don't know if we went through this. You can change it. Yeah, I think we did. But yeah, man, that's pretty much Dex, kind of the gist of it. You, you know, there's other aspects to it as well, but that's pretty much it right there. A lot of things that you can do with Dex using your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in a external storage here and let you guys see if it'll pick this up. So just plugged into my type C on my dongle and external storage. Let's go into. Let's go into files and see if it's reading it. Yes, it is right here. So this is the storage that I added and I can go in and check out everything on that. That is my 228 gigabyte storage device right there. So I don't know what's all on this, but let's go ahead. Here's a video I did. It looked like a little speed test there. And that's playing directly from the external storage right there. So uh, you can plug in SD cards, storage devices, different things. It depends on your hub that you have. I have a little simple one. So, but yeah, man, that, that's Dex. Pretty much it right there, guys. So uh, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Will H, I'm out.